fine gems and fantasy. I need to have my birthdays. Koia te kingi o tuawahine rotorua. Melding metal into fashion. Koia te kaifaka piwari no mon matre. Hello. It's wonderful to meet you. I'm very excited. He wa tona ka tuta ki te ao o nehe. Oh, I love that. Ki te ana mata. You must come to my studio in New Zealand. There's mirrors in every room. Ko wai ka mohio he aha ngā hua. Oh yeah. Ka puta mai. You take credit. <laughs>
With the way the night has gone, I'm leaving. I'm packing up my collection and I'm returning to my hotel. I've had enough. Right, Dad, Paris is done, now we're off to London. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait to see that and I love that coat. She'll be getting that medicine moment. I've really sent her an email. Yes, sloppy. Tragic. Now, with the passing of the Queen, I'm starting to suspect that the event organiser is going to try and use that as an excuse to cancel the next show. I've brought my collection across the planet, and it's been a tremendous financial cost. Ki te rotorua nui a kahumata momoi, kwa whakareere a ngā hūrekereke. Can't even see Nicole. Oh, you can just. just just see it. So I have a busy life, and it's hard to catch up with contestants outside of pageant. However, today I am. Uh, catching up with Fire Mere Pekaro Kawatates. I've I've um I've started walking again. Yeah. And um, I feel that I like to walk walk early in the morning because it clears my head, you know, and get, gets you set up for the day. Yeah. I'm actually able to walk now and walk for an hour and I'm enjoying doing that as well. So it just means that um, you cannot take your health for granted. Hirangi pai kia tu taki taki i waho i te puninga reke reke. Do you walk to Salido Camp as well? No, 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 I don't. <laughs> How's that going for you? It's okay. Yep, yeah, it's okay. It's um, it's actually going really good, better than I expected. Mm. I thought I would have pulled out by now. Really? Yeah, I thought I would have pulled out by now, but um, was it the time commitment, or did was it? Did you not think it was for you, or? Yeah, it was probably what I was thinking about people's judgments. Well, let me give you a tip. Okay. <laughs> What people think of you, my dear, it's not your business, yeah. so don't worry about them. Yeah. <laughs> I've learnt that. Okay. I've learnt that. Because if we always worried about what people think of us, mm. we wouldn't have got out of bed past the age of 16. Because that's exactly what I thought, <laughs> you know, going, I mean, at my age, go, entering into the pageant. Yeah. And then I thought, who bloody cares? Yeah. You know, it's, I'm doing this for me. And so are you. Yes. So that's great. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And do you look forward to Sundays? I do. I do, yes. Yeah. Sundays was probably the hardest days for me. Uh, that was the day that my partner passed away, so showing up every Sunday is a, it gives me something to look forward to every that's Sunday. That's right, that's yeah. right. My husband was many years older than me, Theo, and it is, it takes time. Yeah. And you know, everybody wants to be helpful, but um, nobody can take the place, place of your own grief. That's yeah. something that you do yourself, it's something you learn about. And, and every time I go past his photo, I always go, <laughs> like that. But I do, his cousin is on the scene now, and he's a lovely man. Let's go and have a coffee. Okay, then. <laughs> she was able to give me the advice and to um, grieve gracefully was one of the things she did say. Probably the hardest thing was at the time that it happened, uh, we had got into red oh, for COVID. Yes, and you couldn't. Get out we couldn't, couldn't do, get out of Rotorua, mm. nobody could get into Rotorua. Um, and not only that, my family was in Australia. So... Um, yeah, that would, have been yeah. that would have been really difficult. I only had my two sisters. Mm. They were probably my only mm. immediate family mm. that I had here. Mm. Um, I had another immediate family member who was there who wasn't nice <laughs> oh. and made our whole journey difficult and is still making it difficult for us. The only advice I would give on that score is just say, sorry, my dear, you're too toxic for me and I'm not going to have it. Somebody did say to me, you know, how did you cope when Theo passed away? And I think I, I did, I have often thought, I think I you know, probably drank myself into oblivion for a number of years. But everybody grieves differently. Some people just want to be left alone um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. But the one thing I'm very grateful for, and I'm sure you are, that we are blessed because we've got lovely memories. Yes. You know. And you're so young. That's the other thing too. Hi,
we have just arrived at the New Zealand High Commission and we were invited by Ngati Ranana as part of the delegation from the London Pacific Fashion Show. Growing up, I've always been a royalist. Um, I've loved the Queen, Princess Diana, all of the romance around the, the royalty. It's a great honour and privilege to be here during this time. You can feel it in the air, the grieving in the morning. And um, I'll be definitely going down to the Tangi to view her body uh, probably tonight. However, the event organiser also, again, has not arrived. And I'm starting to learn about what's happening with some of the other designers. I will be getting legal advice on what's happened and um, I will not be letting this go silently. So pretty much I done a show for my whanau from New Zealand. I told her we should get the French press there. I could have had that arranged, but she was not communicating. She was telling me the show sold out. I, well, I thought it would be better. You would have those expectations for London and Paris. Yeah, especially from the background where I come from to in New Zealand, the, the, the way I, my brand performs um, back home. Like, you know, we do fashion shows for Kingi to Haitia. Me taku whakapai. You won't get royalty at this show. I waho o tua wahine rotorua, ko tōna hāhi te pau hāpai i a Celestina. Looking forward to Father's Day service today, girl. <laughs> Big feed afterwards. <laughs> the main part. <laughs> yeah. So Natuna is a constant in my journey. Um, so her dad is our senior pastor and I've, we've grown a relationship where we like sisters. How's your Miss Rotorua pageant been so far? Um, good. But stressful at times. The only thing I've changed is my bad habits. But I'm still me. The last pipe I ever had was on March the 22nd, 2019. And haven't touched it since. I woke up and I said to my daughters, let's go to church. Um, so we went to the Samoan church because I could identify with them. I, I felt comfortable around them. What was the wake-up call for you to get off the drugs and come clean? My kids. Your kids? My kids. And it wasn't until I put my family through what I did that I realised that there's so many women doing this. And it's just hooked them like wildfire. And I just want them to know that there's another life apart from doing that. At the start of last year, we got told that you had ended up in hospital. So I had a stroke. Um, they classed it as a mini stroke. I was um, paralysed down one side. And then this one particular day, your dad came in with mum and they were praying for me and my mum was rubbing my leg with oil. My leg decided to move. <laughs> so in that moment, I saw the power of God. It's funny that when you're in times of need, you, you, you seem to call out to Jesus more. And I know I did. And he came through. If Jesus wants me to wear a crown, well, I'm here to serve our community. I'm here to serve my people. And what better way than having a crown, really, than to bring her people to Jesus? Yeah. And I've seen my journey go bang. Yeah. It's happening before my eyes. London Town. Foo. Daya Matsua Rod. Dad's looking pretty sharp. But what do you expect of a weed epper? 
Hello. Come through. Hello. Welcome. Afternoon. How are you? Good day. Nice yes. to meet you. Likewise. Oh, Shanae. Perfect. Tōna tikanga, he hui whakātu kākahu tā kāo a te pōne. Thanks very much. No problem, my pleasure. Thanks Hello, good much. afternoon. Where are you from? Portugal, from Lisbon. Oh, cool, yeah. wonderful. Please take a seat. Thank you. Oh, that walk last night, 12 hours to line up to see the Queen. I'll never forget it. The last bit, the snake. It went on and on and on. We had to do it. It had, it had an aura when you were in there. Yeah the majesty of it all. And then she had the, the, the crown and the scepter on top of the coffin, and that diamond in the sef, uh, scepter is the uh, Star of Africa, the biggest diamond in the world. I didn't know that. Yeah. Pomp and ceremony aside, he no ta kao. What Anna has done is she's not only embarrassed us, but she stood on the mana of all of the designers and the models. You're being paid to deliver a service and to fulfil an agreement, and she hasn't done that. I asked her for the refund, and she uh, said she's going to pay it at the end of the month. I don't believe she's going to pay it. I don't believe anything she says. She's also lied about the shows here in London, which was another £1,500. That show in London has been cancelled, and now she's got some um, bullshit story that she's... There's this community show on today, which I, we're not participating in, um, with 60 guests coming. Who wants to fly halfway across the world to do a fashion show for 60 people? I've decided not to participate in the London Pacific Fashion Week event. It's dodgy. So I contacted London Fashion Week and I was able to be shown in fashion's finest at St John's Church in Hyde Park. So I'm really excited because British Vogue is attending and all of the top media in the UK. So the show tomorrow will be great. They have 300 people coming. A little bit stressful, but I know what I'm doing. Well, we've got to carry on. We have to carry on. And you know what? That's costed more money as this other show. But I had to come here and do it right. That's what I expect. You know, you can't be a failure. When you work hard, you get the results. No, we cannot be failures. That's not in our whakapapa. No, it is not. So what we're going to do, Dad, is we're going to do the Fashion Week show here in London, smash it out, be amazing, and, and do the best I can. Thank you very much. That's only what I expect from you, son. I didn't come here to fail. I only came here to win. Oh, you've got all the calories on here. Yeah, Great. Yeah, How many calories is this chicken? Oh, 694. Good. Um, and I'll have a flat bread with it, please. A flat bread with it? Yes. Perfect. Lovely. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. I love the fashion in London. I think it has this more personality and diversity. I think in France everybody dresses the same. Um, you're still looking sharp, Dad. Do you have anything you're going to get for Mum? Well, I'll have to have a look. Otherwise, I might end up with two black eyes. Yes. Now, I wonder how things are going back to New Zealand. The girls have been disrespectful to Bobby and the team while I've been gone. I didn't know that. Yeah, talking um, while they're doing speech, we have guest speakers in and they're all like just talking, sloppy, um, and, and actually purposely dressing down. One of the contestants, Tana, said that she um, didn't care about what she was wearing because I wasn't there. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, and I've been looking at the photos and it looks like things are falling apart. They are when you're not there. Te wiki kākahu o rānana. Fashion's finest. He whakātūranga motuhake, mā te reanga whatu kākahu e pihi mai ana. Karawhiua, Carl. We're at the venue in Paddington at Hyde Park, and I'm really loving it. The church is about 300 years old, and the architecture is absolutely amazing. The event organisers and the people behind the scenes are true professionals, and I'm so excited to have my first fashion show at London Fashion Week. I'm really glad we're here because um, that show that Anna done was fraudulent. How do you feel about now being in a real show? 
I'm nervous for, ch for change. Yeah. I'm actually nervous to go out. You should see the audience out there that all dressed to the max. That's really cool. It's a big crowd. Yeah. After what happened to us all, it's um, it's a blessing. So you're going to be my finale model, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's me and you. Oh, I need to get some pins. I wonder if anyone's got any of those. I managed to save three of the models that got trapped into the London Pacific Fashion Week scam and they got to live out their fashion dreams as well. The show I was involved with was cancelled. Oh, okay. So I only came on the schedule for this show two days ago. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, the after party is uh, full house. Yeah. But I'm just going to go in. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> What's your schedule? When do you go on? Number five. Great. Turn around, darling. Kia tere kao. Koe a Turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around. Maza, maza. Annie, see the chill? Just pull it all down so none of it's bent. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. Thank you for the pins. <laughs> and remember, take your time. Go slow when you're doing it because you want everyone to see you. Great, beautiful. Mai i rotorua ki rārana. Kawea ake, darling. I was really happy with the response of the people of London. Loved the music that we had on the catwalk. It was all Māori waiata. <laughs> Seeing my collection on the London Fashion Week catwalk has been one of the greatest achievements of my career. I was so honoured to walk out on the catwalk to close the show with this beautiful black model from London. It was a wonderful end to what was a hectic trip. Yes, Dad, that is exactly the type of show we came to London for. I'm so proud of you, my son. You know, I love you. Thank you. All right. Right, we're all wrapped up. One dress to go in there, zip it up and we're ready to go. E poho kere ruana mātou i ākwe, Carl. Ko koe te kaiwhatu tuatahi nō roto rua. Kwa uru ki tēnei o ngā wiki nunui o rānana. Nō reira, miharo, darling. Te arawa e. It's our final night in London, and I'm on the phone with Bobby. Yeah, just got the girls that just, you know, some of them that aren't listening whilst, like, I've noticed while you've been gone, they've just, it's like, oh, so you want me. We can just, you know, do this, do that. Disrespect. Yeah. Having you gone, it's honestly showing me the true colours of the majority of the contestants. I know who's true and real, and I know who's obviously putting up the facade. It's obvious to me that I need to get back to New Zealand as soon as possible because the pageant is falling apart and I need to get all of those ladies back on track. When I get back, I will be finding out who is Mr. Rotorua who governing I've fallen in love with Paris and I enjoy London, but what I've realised is New Zealand is the best nation on earth. Oh, look, here we go. I mean, it's quite funny. Come and lead by example. And he has the cheek to call me a princess? Don't drink, drink, drink. 
Those that think can come in on their own time are rude, disrespectful and disappointing. Okay.